working. Okay, yay. Let me see. Okay, this is exciting. Hi, everybody. Okay. You know I love you if I'm willing to wake up and make up with you. Okay, how do I wake up? Um, first and foremost, I have my cup of water every single day. Yep, got to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And then, okay, so let me just be honest. I'm really, really, really good at a morning workout until this whole Corona thing, this whole quarantine. And we're in San Diego. I mean, California was the first state to you know, ban social gatherings. And so we have literally, I have been since um, the 13th, Friday the 13th was basically that first day of, hey, let's, let's, you know, cut it out, no more. Actually, I won't say that. We did have dinner with the Muthers and then we went Saturday. So Saturday was the 14th and from then on it was shelter in place. So since then I've not been the best with morning workouts. Um, so my wake up is then of course coffee and isn't this cool backdrop isn't this really cool okay so what I'm doing is I'm actually broadcasting through zoom and I'm coming at you live in Facebook and um, this is really high tech but most importantly um, I'm able to record it so I do want to encourage you to put down your comments I've got my phone I've got my, my makeup mirror, um, but I am in my office and I'm, I wanted to be in my sink, in my bathroom. The only way to do this is right from my phone. And I wanted to try it this way because I think that it just might be more helpful. And since today's Sunday, I don't ever get up and do this kind of stuff on Sunday, but for you guys, like th this is special times that require special things, right? And you're special people. And I think truly, um, we need to be reminded on that, that we're okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And even though um, I, I wake up many a times at night, I'm having some crazy dreams, but I just am also in prayer. And it's, um, it's sort of funny how God is answering me in the middle of the night. So I thought I'd read this. And I, just because this was the closest book, I have some, you know, really good books. I love Priscilla Shire. Today we're doing our, um, our home church and um, I'm going to be playing Stephen Furtick. He is the pastor of Elevation Church. So, um, and yes, I am Catholic, but you guys, I, I, I get my juice on from a lot of other denominations <clears throat> and I converted. So, you, you know, I'm one of those crazy evangelical kinds, um, but truly I was not like that. Uh, I always wanted to be, but Mary Kay brought me back to my faith. And so I just want to read this to you um, as we start our wake up and make up, because if you're not plugging into the right source, it's going to be more stressful. I mean, I've been feeling the bags um, and you can see I got a little bit of darkness, even though I, I'll tell you about my, um, what I did to my face already, but um, allergies are crazy. My allergies have been going crazy. Let me see if we're, how we're doing on, I got to check us out on our live broadcast here. Should be on my phone. Yay. It's working. Okay. Turn that off because I can't look at myself. Okay. So this is living beyond my your fe feelings. My allergies have been going crazy let me see if we're oh hi michelle so that's why i wanted to do this i wanted to see who was okay i'll just turn it down how weird is that okay so i don't want to listen to myself but hi michelle michelle i so am proud of you michelle is on so michelle is she's one of my sweetie pies she was my usher at our church but you know what her daughter jenna oh i got back pain that was bad um her daughter jenna was our nanny and um and she is now, I believe, in Utah. I need your new address because what I sent you came back. So update me when you can, please. Please. Okay, I'm going to start with this. And this one comes from Living Beyond Your Feelings, let's see, by Joyce Meyer. I've got that funky background. Isn't that cool, though? Okay, so let me just read this, and then we're going to get into Wake Up With Your Makeup. I find the Psalms written by David very interesting because he was not reticent about telling God exactly how he felt. But he also followed up by stating that he trusted God to be faithful, to keep his promises. Often, God, often David would even remind God of something he had promised in his word. So it's like, okay, to come and 
like be angry at God, but God says, be faithful. So here's what Psalm says. And this is Psalm 13, one through six. How long you, how long will you forget me? O Lord forever. How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I lay up cares within me and have sorrow in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy exalt himself over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. I think he probably like, consider and answer me. <laughs> I think he was probably a little bit more angry, but anyway. Lighten the eyes of my faith to behold your face in the pitch like darkness, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him and those that trouble me rejoice when I am shaken. But I have trusted, leaned on, and been confident in your mercy and loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice and be in high spirits with your in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So this is the last little paragraph. And Joyce says, if I was to paraphrase this above in today's language, it might sound something like this. God, I am hurting so bad. I feel like I'm going to die. How long will you wait before you do something for me? Do you want my enemies to say they've won? God, I have trusted in you and will continue to do so. Let me see your face even in the midst of my trouble so I can be encouraged. I feel lousy, God, but I will rejoice and I have a good attitude because of your salvation and your promises of love and mercy. I will sing to you because you are good. How cool is that? So not a shock to him. Okay, the other thing is I'm waking up with my coffee, but um, my little secret, y'all, I love me some chocolate. But I'm also really, really cautious as a dietitian. I love my dark chocolate. This is my little joke. I get one of these little dark chocolate. Um, I eat half. It's my dessert. I have it in the morning. So I go to bed like a little hungry and I don't eat my dessert often. Okay, sometimes I do. But I have half of a, I know, I have a little nibble like this and then I have my hot coffee. And it's like having a hot chocolate chip cookie right out of the oven, but less calories. It's my little nutrition tip. Um, you get mag um, uh, magnesium and manganese in your dark chocolate. And it has all the antioxidants that milk chocolate doesn't. But my coffee is also not loaded with sugar. So just so you know. So we're going to make up. No, we're not going to make up. We're going to wake up. <laughs> And we're going to wake up. And Michelle, I know you're giggling with me. If y'all are watching, ah, I'm excited. Um, how do you start every day? I'm going to do a really quick, it might not take five minutes because I'm talking so much, but when you're isolated, like you start talking to yourself, right? You have business meetings. Don't mind me. I'm just having my business meeting. Um, <laughs> except for that's me a lot. And um, I miss you guys. So this is, this is why I love my Mary Kay because I still can have you. And when we do zoom, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So here's the deal. I am doing virtual appointments and my first, first five virtual hostesses. Now this is the best part, Michelle, you haven't been a hostess for me. So this would be an awesome opportunity. The first five to schedule their virtual party and the next uh, you have to schedule it this week it can be scheduled for later but you have to schedule it this week my first five will get to have a color 101 so normally it's 101 but you get it for 50 so tonight today this is our compact our special compact that's part of the color 101 i am doing um, four colors, a contour, and a cheek. I left two spaces open, but that's what we're going to do today. And this is part of the color 101, along with a mascara, eyeliner, and a lipstick. So we're going to do that today. Oops, I forgot to bring down my lipsticks. So I'll have to, I'm in my Mary Kay studio, so I got lots of samples. But I want to talk about um, my virtual parties. I'm doing a bunch and they're super fun. So the first five of you will be able to get your color 101 for only 50. So not only is it's more than half, so how fun. Um, but it's really, really been a fabulous way of just having about a 45 minute break, maybe an hour, just depending on how much we chat. And we do it through Zoom. So everybody's on live or we can do a Facebook. So those are two options. So all you need to do is just comment below. And today I'm giving away a prize. I've got a whole bunch of wrapped up um, former Mary Kate products that are my gifts for today. So let's talk about what I did before I came down here. I made coffee. I cleaned. So every morning and where is my brush okay so i don't have the right brush because this was um i did it upstairs in my sink but i use the skin vigorate brush so the skin vigorate brush has a head this is the massager head 
the Skin Vigorate brush is Sonic technology. And that's really, really cool because it costs a lot to have Sonic. And if you're at the other stores, you'll notice it's normally about $1.99 and up for a good Sonic brush. So ours, because if you're just chiming in and you just don't know much about Mary Kay, first of all, did you hear the news? Oh my gosh, Mary Kay is so awesome. Um, just like Mary Kay Ash always, always found a way to help our, our community, our country without even um, much notice. The staff members pulled together and said with the shortage of hand sanitizers, we do have ingredients and our products are all, this is the coolest thing. We are made in America. We are not just made in America. We are also, there's a huge brand new, I want to say it was like a billion dollar manufacturing plant that just opened in, outside of Dallas, Texas. And it has not only the research, it has like everything in one building. So they, they conceptualize, then the researchers um, work on it, and then they source it, and then they manufacture it, and then they distribute it all in our new R3 building. So that's really great. But what they did was got to work when they started hearing this, and they said, we can help. We can, we can redo the lines. We can redo creating a formula that would um, give the alcohol percentage that's required for hospitals. And this isn't for sale, but they are starting, everything will be ready to rock and roll April 1st. And then starting April 3rd, they will be um, bringing them off the lines and sending them to in Baylor Healthcare. It's the largest nonprofit healthcare in America. So they're donating at least um, half a million bottles of those hand sanitizers starting there. So I'm just so proud of my company. And you should be too. So when you support our company, you're supporting so much that goes on in the community with fighting cancers against women and of course, um, domestic violence against women. Oh, let me just start by saying, okay, see, <laughs> the nail salon, <laughs> you know, they closed. So I spent like an hour filing these down and, and I'm not even where I need to be because that's, you know, sanitary purposes, you don't want nails. But this hand, I haven't, <laughs> I was tired, I didn't get to. So let's just go back to Sonic. This stuff is amazing, but our brush has a, um, a head that gives a massage as well. But the brush itself, I use my cleanser this morning and I just wanna to touch base right now on how do you wash your face. On Tuesday night, we're having our virtual tic-tac-toe party. So you can come on, you can invite people. Y'all, I am so excited to give you free Mary Kay. Help me connect with other people because since I can't go out and network, this is where you get all the goods. And it's super fun. You can invite five, 10, 20 people and you can be a hostess even though we're doing it as a group. So that's really, really fun. So again, the first five get an additional opportunity to have a color one-on-one -on -one for only 50. So I took um, my cleanser, I put it on the head of the brush. So the brush that comes with this, this is only 75 without this head, but then um, an extra 25 if you want the massager, well worth it because when you get tired at the, you know, like sitting at the end of the day, you can just give yourself a little, or I have a lot of allergies. So I give myself a facial massage and then I can just feel it draining. Okay, so um, I did my cleanser. When you work with your face, you guys, you can do your fingers, but I love the brush, but um, you wanna go up and out. Now, this is not a circular. This is just a little vibrational kind of thing, um, but it brings blood flow to the surface of the skin. And that's actually good because what does blood have? Oxygen. And the reason we start to lose our strength, and I'm so proud because when I smile, I still have a lot of strength. When I see a lot of women my age, I sit in the stands for lacrosse and people will smile and it's like sag lines all the way down. And because I've used Mary Kay only since I was 24, this stuff is amazing. So let's get on with it. I cleansed and then I did my lifting serum. Okay. So my lifting serum stuff is gold. We call it Spanx for the face. And I put that on as well. So then I was ready for my cream. So a couple tips for you. A lot of people have problem with makeup because they put cream and they get it on their lashes, which means that as your body warms up, your lashes will start, that cream starts to get warm. And then if they've had any kind of mascara or any kind of cream based eyeliner, that cream here mixes with the warmth and it starts to melt. So one of the things that I recommend as I am getting into that, you know, later forties and 
um, my estrogen level is decreasing. So I need more cream. I've always been an oily girl, but lately my skin has needed a little bit more. I just try not to put anything on the lid. Okay. So that at least on the top, I'm not seeing any kind of melting of my mascara or my cream eyeliner, excuse me. Um, but also you can just be really careful. You don't get anything on the lashes. So that's one trick, uh, tip and trick for you. When you put on, on your moisturizer, always make sure you're getting your neck and your decolletage. This is area where if we go walking, we're going to get the sun. So you want to protect that area too. Okay. So that's what I did before coming down. And of course I did my eye cream, which I love this. This really does help with the puffiness because of the metal. It helps to reduce. It's called Xanfax and it's zinc, aluminum, nickel, titanium is really cool. All these little things, but it's, um, helps to reduce puffiness. It helps to hydrate. It helps to lift and it helps to have the wrinkles four in one. And I love to talk about the wrinkle filler. However, I am not fond of putting on the wrinkle filler in the morning because I don't like the way the makeup works on top of this. You can do this one on top of makeup much better, but I like to do this at night. Like I fill it up and what it is, is this has, I love this product because this has the hyaluronic acid and it puffs up the skin so that the wrinkle is less apparent. The more you use it, the more it stays puffed up. But the hyaluronic acid is, uh, they're polysaccharides, so it comes from sugar, but it really absorbs moisture and it keeps your skin um, more plump and youthful looking. So that's sort of what that does. And that's all in the repair skincare line. So now we're ready. I'm gonna put on a little bit of foundation primer. Okay, so foundation primer has a teeny bit of SPF in it. And I'm just using my fingers and I'm putting it where the foundation will go. Okay. And this is like a gel. It's a wonderful product. I love the price point. I told you my allergies are yucky. Um, the price point is fabulous. Normally they're like 35 in the store and ours is only, I want to say it's like 18. Could be wrong. It might be 16, but it's not bad at all. So it's a great product. But I also love our 3D, um, 3D, this one's matte. And it's foundation. This one is a foundation that has the 3D is the updated miracle set ingredients. So it has resveratrol, vitamin B3, which brightens the skin. Resveratrol, because big word. It comes from um, it comes from red wine. So the way I always like to explain it is if you see a grape and you see a raisin, which one do you want to look like? Exactly. The grape is a lot more useful and plump and delicious. And that is because it has resveratrol. When it loses it, it becomes a raisin. So that's why that resveratrol is so important. The other thing this has is age-defying peptides. So any of the dermatology um, reports, which I read all the time, they will say, get your peptides, get your vitamin C. <laughs> Those are like the two big things. So this one has the peptides and I am going to put that on using, we've got two, I love, love, love the new um, blending brush and you can use it to put on the foundation. You can also use it just as a blender at the end. So what I'm going to do first before I even put this on, because I'm dealing with some horrible dark circles. So there are, there is a under eye corrector and then there is a concealer, which just fell. I'm going to show you the difference because the under eye corrector has a little bit of peach kind of color. And that's because it's really good if you happen to have purpley dark circles and that's genetic. So it will um, be a little bit trickier to, you know, get rid of totally, but you can cover it with makeup. So I'm going to use our cream brush and then I'm just going to pat this. It's called stippling. I'm just going to pat this and sometimes I'll do this first and then go get my coffee because I want it just to set. Now you can do a really fast five minute makeup. You really can. And I'm probably not going to show you today because I'm talking too much, but I want to tell you a lot of the benefits, but this is not hard at all. Okay. So that made such a difference, but obviously you, you can still see it if you're up close. So then we put our foundation on and I'm going to use, I like this older brush. I still have some, it's only 10 bucks. You guys, when you're using cream, you need to have a synthetic brush. So whatever you do, it doesn't matter what that company might say. Do not use fresh hair. Time for more chocolate. I'm almost, I'm almost done. I only have half of a little dub bar. 
my little treat. Okay, so this, if it's fresh hair, it will harbor bacteria like crazy. Synthetic hair is meant for cream. So I just put a little on the brush. And then when you do foundation, you don't need tons over here unless you do have spots that you're trying to cover. Um, but really, it's generally just right in the middle of the face. Now, oh my gosh, can I tell you, I'm going to post this below, but there's this new link. Okay, there's two things I want to tell you about. I have to look in this mirror because I can't really look at my screen. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to blend outward, okay? And I do take a teeny bit more foundation, and then I just stipple it. Like, I go pretty heavy, and it's okay because you're going to be able to blend it at the end, but I just stipple on top for my eye area, especially because I want it to be lighter. Um, okay, so two awesome, awesome things. I wonder if I can screen share. Oh, I can screen share. Let me see what I have open. Okay, I'm gonna screen share because I'm using Zoom. I can do that. I wanna show you this, it's so cool. Okay, so I have to go, I have to open it up. Hold on, let me just get into my Mary Kay. I'm going to go to my personal website. So this is where you guys can shop, but I'll tell you the easiest thing is to get the e-catalog. And um, so you can always get the e-catalog and you can do this on an app on your phone. It is awesome because then you have all of these at your disposal. And each of these, like for example, this is so cool. This has videos inside of it. So if you're like, what exactly does that do? It has these cool, <laughs> excuse me, has these cool little videos. So like for here, if I click on this, ta -da! how neat is that? You can actually see a video from Mary Kay. Of course I have the sound on. I'm gonna turn the sound off because I don't want to confuse, but isn't that great? This is such a great app and you can have this on your phone. What I want to do is I want to take you foundation because I um I like to tell these awesome perks that happen. Let me just make sure I can find it. Foundation products. Let's go to this. Maybe I can find them there. Okay, I'm gonna find this. Darn it. Okay, I'm gonna just put it in the search. Um, foundation tool feel like, okay, there is this really, let me just keep looking for it. It was found easily yesterday, so I am determined. I am going to find it. Um, okay, there is a Beauty Extra. Yes, 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 Beauty Extra. So here it is, Beauty Extra Game and Quizzes. It's a foundation shade. So this is what I wanted to show you. It's super awesome because if you're not quite sure what you want or what Mary Kay has, this will help you. And you just take, okay, so I am, I'm lightest beige. So I say next. This is so cool. I love our company. I like matte. Now, when should you go from a matte to a luminous? Um, when you start to notice your skin getting more aged, you're going to need more luminosity. Okay, now this, I'll let you figure this out. Again, it was under beauty extras and it was games and quizzes. I'm gonna show you one more thing. And this is Foundation. This was so cool. I just learned about it the other day. And this is anything you've ever used. If you wanna find the match with Mary Kay, you can do that. So if you're currently using an Urban Decay and you can't get it anymore because thank gosh, I'm open and I can still help you um, and keep prayers that my, you know, company stays safe because we do have a distribution system open. But this will be so wonderful to just see the equivalent. Okay, I'm going to stop screen sharing and we're going to keep going. So, okay, give me some thumbs up, Miss Michelle. How am I doing? Okay, I'm going to now go to my buffer. I like to put things away. I'm sort of a tidy girl, so I'm going to put this away now. And I have a clean space. Um, so now I'm going to go to this buff brush, which you can use this br uh, buff brush. You can use the da -da -da -da, the little um, blending sponge. Okay, tip about blending sponges. You need to wet these. Okay, you cannot use them dry. 
it will destroy everything. You get this wet and you squeeze and you squeeze, you squeeze like 10 times. You wanna get out every bit of extra moisture and then you're just patting and stippling. Okay, I like this brush, this is my favorite. This one you do not have to wet. I'm telling you for $16, the hairs, there are 20,000 more hairs. It is so soft and you can use it as a light buffer. So it can be a light buffer or you can blend. So you can go harder if you want, but I'm just gonna use it to have it as a light buffer to get my color the way I want it, okay? And so I just make sure around the hairline and then, like I told you, I don't go real heavy on the sides. I don't have that much. Um, I've been very, very cautious with my vitamin C and my um, SPF, but most importantly, my retinol and my vitamin C. And I use the lifting serum and I even use the tone correcting serum, which helps with spots. I just use everything I okay. And I love that I can get my discount because it means I can look cuter without paying full price. And, um, and a lot of people like, that's how I started. People are always like, how did you start Mary Kay? I was a tomboy. I knew nothing about this stuff, but I knew I loved fashion. It was like fashion and cooking is my expression. I do have an artistic side. I just can't draw very well. So that was my artistic expression. And um, there you go. So I'm buffed up. So these are great for that finished look and to stipple. This one has that nice point. You can get right into that um, eye area. This one does not. So we're gonna put that away now. Okay, I then use my eye primer. Now I'm doing, hold on, I gotta grab it. One second. Wow, I must've taken it upstairs. Okay, I must've taken it upstairs. That's weird. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna post this because what I'm doing is um, I'm gonna show you guys my specials. It's hard with this backdrop. Okay, I'm gonna send this um, in a picture. I'll try to do it in, in a couple minutes. And the cool thing is um, on the back side, Mary Kay is so wonderful. It's like they, they teach you step by step. So it really allows us to teach more face shape, eye shape, and, and that's what I can do. I do a lot, um, what I'm doing right now, and this, in the next couple of days, it'll be up and running, but you can schedule yourself through my automated system and you'll all be able to get my new digital um, business card. I'm so excited. I'm doing the eye primer, okay? And I'm doing it on my lids. You just pat it on and that might be a little bit too much. You don't need much at all, actually. You just stipple it on. Um, eye primer is like wall, like primer for painting your walls. Yeah, I think I got too much. Um, it just helps the color last longer. It also helps the color stay on the surface. And I do this first and then I work on my brows just so I can set for a couple minutes. And we're gonna go, let's see, I'm just gonna rock and roll here. Okay, brows. I'm gonna tell you that I have no brows because <laughs> I'm a 90s girl. Well, I'm technically not a 90s girl. I was born way before then, but I was in high school in the 90s and we plucked them all off, right? That was sort of the thing. So. I'm gonna use brunette on the hair that I currently have because some of it is light, but then I have found, and I just like to fill in to create a little bit more of an angle or a shape. So I start here to make a little line and then I do a little line where the hair ends and I go up, but I don't have a lot of hair. So I'm going on the skin and teeny little strokes, the length of your hair is how you wanna look natural. If you did a long, strong line, it's gonna look really unnatural. And um, most of us don't want that. The other thing is if you put foundation all over and you just didn't really pay attention to getting it in the hair, then what you need to do is you need to take our, you have a choice here of this kind of a spoolie brush and you wanna brush out any foundation that's in the hair first. You can also shape it. So see how, I mean, I have some hair, but it's light here and then it sort of ends way beyond. So the goal is a um, 35 degree angle from the end of your eye. Also from your watermark, you go straight up and then that anything on this side you would pluck, okay? So you can see that I don't really have the hair here. So. 
I try, especially if I'm doing pictures, but on a normal basis, I might not come all the way out. I might just go a teeny bit out. But if you notice, this one is brunette, okay? It's the same color as my hair, but when I do it on my skin, I feel like it is too fair and looks unnatural. Oh, I'm gonna do half my face. This is what Zulema taught us. And I think it might be fun. So I'm gonna do half my face so you can see the difference. So I'm just doing this dark brunette where the skin is so that I'm not too, too dark on the hair, but at least it has a little bit more of a natural look. And your eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters, got that? Lori Hogg is one of our makeup artists and she's so funny. And she always says, I got a hair stuff on my face. Um, she always says, your eyebrows do not have to be matchy matchy because it's true, they are twins, not sisters. Sorry, they're sisters, not twins. Okay, so let's go on. I chose a really pretty um, color set for today. So today we're gonna do, this one is, um, da, 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 is this one biscotti? It is, okay. We're doing biscotti and then I've got rose gold I've got Soft Heather and the beautiful Merlot. So I'm gonna encourage you to follow along. You can pull up, like I said, on your app, on your phone, you can download the e-catalog. Oh my gosh, and then I almost forgot, you guys, this is so cool. Let me show you on my phone. A Couple of really important. So this one is called the e-catalog. That's, whoops, that's what we just showed you that's also linked to my website. The other one you gotta have is called Mirror Me. And Mirror Me allows you to take a selfie. And it's gonna open here in a minute. And then from there, there we go. So there, then you say, let's go. And then you can take a picture of yourself and then you can try these different looks. And then it'll tell you what you would look like with that look on. And, oh, here we go. Okay, so that looks really funny but you can do it. I wonder if I could do it. Look, it's sort of doing it with me there. Isn't that fun? Okay, that's like a little bold, um, but <laughs> how fun. You can have those apps. Now there's one more app. When I'm together with you, this app is my favorite. It's only available for consultants. It's called SkinSight. And I basically, I can do it virtually too. So when we do our um, virtual facial, or if you want to do um, with some friends, I can actually do a um, scan of your face and then it'll tell me where the damage is on your skin and what we recommend to um, fix that damage. Okay, moving right along. So I wanna use our Mary Kay brush set. Love, love, love our Mary Kay brush set. It goes you know, very well into this little pouch for ease. And um, the set is 55. Today, when you purchase, if you see some things, you're like, oh, I want it all. So you would be able, I'll send this all to you, but you'll be able to get the brush set. If you purchase the entire complete collection, you get it for free. And then you get it half off with this one. So I'll send this all to you so you can see um, what kind of set you want. But for everything, just makeup, not skincare related, um, it's, it's under 200, it's under 200, but you would get the brush set free, which is a $55 gift. So what I'm gonna do is take the all over shadow brush. I have got deep set eyes. I'm only doing one. Okay, so I start with a little bit of the highlighter, okay? And the highlighter is gonna really just be tapped. You can put it all over the face, but I'm just gonna pat it. I guess I'll just do that for ease and to just give you guys um, a basic way of putting on eye makeup, just go ahead and put it all over, okay? Because you're gonna cover it. You can see way too bright for the whole face, but we are doing layers. A layered approach is really important because it softens the entire look and allows your eye to be the feature. It, it, makeup is really just to accentuate, accentuate what you currently have. And I've always taught that. I've always taught, you know, it's fun to have some, some sass with your makeup. Some days it's like, okay, I'm just boring and, I, and that's what I wanna present, but you have mood. So you don't want the same colors over and over and over. If you've never tried some different colors, um, that's really why I love what I do because of our guarantee. You can always try and I can send you samples. So I'm sending pink love packets to many people and then we're scheduling our virtual 
appointments. So the next color, I'm not doing that one yet. I'm going to go right over here to the matte. Um, it is a matte color because you don't want a lot of shimmer on the lid, especially as you get mature. The only place you want shimmer really is here. I mean, maybe up here, if you're going out, I'm not crazy about shimmer. I like more of a matte, but you can do shimmer on a, on a fun night. But I'm going to put that soft heather right on this brush. And then you can see today, my allergies are like normally my, my skin is a little bit more taut. But and notice I, you can always go up, just try not to go out. So um, with my soft heather, I'm going to go on to this um, crease, okay? So what is the crease? So see that where the, the skin is creating a line? That's called the crease. So this is one of the most simple ways of putting on makeup for everybody. Find your crease, da, 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 da. make sure I have the brush the right way. And I'm looking into the camera. I'm going to look now into this. And I got to go more. Nope, I can't go close up. I'm not far enough away. Okay, so you can always lift and then you're putting it into the crease. I'm patting the color in. Okay, see, you can see the color. It's right in the crease. And once I pat the color in, I'm trying to stay off the lid, okay? So you're gonna go into this area here. This is a shadowy area, which is also, unless you have really close in eyes, you don't wanna do this. If you have very close in eyes, makeup is an illusion. So dark recedes, light attracts. So we're trying to bring the focal point to your beauty and your natural features. So I'm gonna go in here because this is a shadowy area that most of the time we want to have a little bit of contour. Um, but this brush, I like to pat because you get more color in. So see that? You're not gonna leave it like that. We've gotta use brushes to give us a natural um, finish. So part of the brush set, is the eye crease brush. I just did the all over brush. I probably should have used this, but it's okay. I'm gonna use this to create my blend, okay? So I'm gonna just do teeny little back and forth blending motions with this one because see how it's arched? It works perfectly. You can do like the windshield wipers. And I'm just gonna blend it so that you can even go sideways, but you're not gonna get as much. So I blend, blend, blend to soften the color. Again, I'm trying to stay off that lid. And this is such a pretty daytime look because it's just, I mean, I could do two colors and an eyeliner and be done. But I do like to use, oh, I love the rose gold. So I do add that rose gold right at the end. Now, this one, you can do the um, windshield wipers. To really create more of a blend, you want this. This one is, um, this one's called the ice smudger, but I still use it as a nice blending because I like the point. So I can go in small little circles there. There's also another brush. It's an older Mary Kay brush. I think this one might be my favorite for this technique. Little round circles. And when you do a round circle, notice I'm going towards the nose and that little, and I'm, and I'm not pushing down on the skin, very light, like almost like this kind of light, not this, okay? So very, very light. So as you get used to um, putting things on, this is the time to practice because it becomes easier, but you do have to practice. Notice I'm staying off the lid, but I am, and I can blend back and forth, but I'm just blending that color. Most people aren't blending. That's why it's not looking as pretty and it's not looking as good. Okay, so, and I can even go a little bit higher if I feel like I need to, okay? Just personal preference. So there you go. So again, nothing here. Now, if I was on this side, I would be going towards my nose and the little circles going towards my nose, okay? But now I'm gonna switch gears and I'm gonna go back to this eye smudge brush. The cool thing about the eye smudge brush or the eyeliner brush is you can then do your, um, contour color with this. So I'm going to do the contour color. I'm going to use my eyeliner brush and this is a Merlot. Oh, this is a fun trick. Okay. Here's my great trick. You want it to last a little, like be a little bit more, um, vibrant. Sometimes the powders by itself, um, will stay if, and be a little bit more vibrant with our makeup spray. Our makeup spray is by skin, 
Scandinavia. Make sure I say that right. Scandinavia. Okay, and I'm just going to put this on like an eyeliner. I'm patting it on right at the base of the hair. Okay, and I want to go over here because if you notice, I love looking at anime. If you watch Disney and stuff, they actually do a beautiful job of understanding makeup. And it's because where the eye um, lashes come together and look more natural. Okay, now notice, that's a little messy. It's okay. You can pull up, my skin's getting a little bit more wrinkly as you know things change. And I'm just gonna smudge it. Okay, this is okay because this is sort of a smudge. And if you ever mess up, oh, oh. Q-tips to the rescue. Okay, so I'm just gonna smudge. I'm using this eyeliner brush, but then I could easily change over to my smudge brush, okay? The one thing about the smudge is you might get a little flakes, and that's okay too. So I'm keeping it right here. Notice, again, I'm trying not to pull outward. I can always do a high eyebrow or pull up just to give it, and I'm doing little taps right there, okay? Now I like to go just up a tad, almost like a V, okay? And as you just gently tap, 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 you wanna look, there's different shapes of eyes and I have what's called a droopy eye. See how my, my eye droops down a little? So for me, I like to bring the bottom, I like to bring this up because it gives that illusion of lift, okay? So I have a droopy eye. Um, not everybody does, so this is a technique for me. And and if you have, I'm not looking at my my comments. Um, okay, I got something different. But this would give you a little bit of a lift. Okay, so I've got that. And at the very end, I'll clean up a little bit and I'll put my um, concealer. Okay, now we're ready for going back to that pretty pretty highlighter. Okay. Actually, it's not a highlighter. This would be considered just the all over color, but I like to use rose gold. I love this. Let me show you the, the Compact Pro. So the Compact Pro is sleek. Look how thin it is. And it actually carries all of the colors. And this would be all the colors and then three cheek or bronzing. I took out one bronzing to put it in the compact, but this is um, just such a beautiful collection. And if you want to, add, you can, you can create whatever shape, you can use the big um, cream to powder, the press powder, you can fit your own uh, design inside of there. But if you look at these colors, uh, let's see, sometimes it's not going to, there we go. This is the rose gold. Beautiful. So I am using mine and I'm going to use, go back to that all over brush. I'm just not gonna have, sometimes I'll just pat some color off on a tissue. Um, so I'm gonna take that rose gold right on the tip. And this is where I put it in the early, the lid right here, okay? Cause I just like that little bit. You can even put some on the inside of the watermark. I just love that little shimmer and voila. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up with an eyeliner. Now this is where if you wanna use our liquid eyeliner, it can be a little bit tricky, um, but it is awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. The liquid eyeliner is, um, I'm, it's better, I'm better with my right arm because you wanna get right there. I cannot talk when I do this. Can you see I'm getting as close to the lash? And I love that I can even go with the point. You do not want there to be any kind of skin. You don't want skin visible between the hair and the lid. So I use my point. See, I'm getting that little bit of, and then I love that I can go sideways. Breathe while you're doing this. And then you just got to practice turning your, your hand. The hardest thing is visibility. 
because I'm starting to lose my visibility with up close. Okay, so I got one little dot there that I'm just gonna wipe off. Voila, okay, so that's a nice top line. I don't want to go down right now. I want to keep it like that. So I'm going to stop. That's what I'm going to do for today. So that's our, we have a new waterproof liquid, which is great if you happen to water. Like my eye waters a lot with the allergies. So this has been wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to do my mascara. And I love, love, love the ultimate. Again, one side. So the ultimate mascara only lasts three months because it's a buildable formula. And notice how you're actually supposed to wipe off any extra so that you get much more defined lashes. So you wanna take it to the base and you wanna zigzag upwards, okay? And you wanna rotate your wand so that you can get more of the mascara. Now, your lashes actually have two sides to it. So don't forget to go on the other side and then brush up. You know, one thing that I'll do when I'm um, with somebody doing their makeup is I'll actually have them close their eye and you can do this too. It's amazing how much more you get. We always wanna you open our mouth, isn't that funny? Now, I didn't bring my hair dryer down, but I love drying my hair, my eyelashes, as soon as I'm done. Don't dry them long because I've actually had it where it's like burns my skin. Like, oh, my eyelash touched my skin and it's so hot. So this is our ultimate. We have five different kinds of mascara. This is my go-to. It stays on beautifully. It doesn't flake. It, I, I normally swim, not now, but you can even swim with it. It's not going to give you raccoon eyes. Now it's not waterproof. It's water resistant. So again, if you cry, you're not getting the crazy black eyes, but it, um, it builds. So notice I'm giving a good coat. You can actually go back in. You don't want to pump. You just twist and then you take off any extra and then you can go back. Well, see, I just bumped. It's okay. Once it dries, it flakes right off, but this is a buildable formula. So going towards the tips, it actually builds your lashes. And I have very blonde lashes, so they're not visible. And they're not the longest hairs either. I wish I had, Dave, thank goodness Mara has great lashes. But all the guys have great lashes. It's never fair. So this is ultimate. There's The difference mainly are, are the wands. Lash love is more for defined lashes. Ultimate is for thicker, more voluminous lashes. Okay, so right about now is not when you want to sneeze. That's why I hair dry my eyelashes real quickly. And it is okay if you've got a little on the top, just wait. What I'm going to do now is my concealer. So we talked about the corrector earlier, which has some pe peach undertones. Now we're going to do the concealer. And so when I do my concealer, I actually do a lot. Um, and if that's too much, it's okay because it's going to come off on the brush. But again, you go back to your cream um, brush and you stipple. And I will bring it all the way into this area right underneath. And then you want to make sure, I'll even show you a little trick you can always do if you're if you want to do a cut crease now that's more advanced glamour so I'm not going to teach it today but if you want to do a cut crease you could actually take after putting on really dark color on the lid you take a little of your concealer and you actually create the line that would be the crease and you bring it down and then once it dries you put on your real sparkly eyeshadow and it's gorgeous I'll I'll show you some tips or pictures of me doing that. Maybe I'll do a cut crease class. Okay, so now I need to just clean this up. So you just gently, honestly, it'll come right off if you just use a Q-tip. I'm going to blend some of that concealer into the area. And 
Sometimes I'll just do like this, just a little stipple, okay? So I use a um, moisturizing, I use a moisturizer with a lot of moisture. So I always have a shine until I put on my powder. That's okay. So look, we're starting to look a little bit better. Let's finish up with our cheek contour. And I'll have to find a lipstick somewhere around here. I'm using the latte, okay? So the brush that we have, let me actually pull out the new brush, excuse me. That's the old brush. So this is so cool because it's angled. It's an angled cheek color. So it's great because you can put, you can press in some color. And this is generally, I use it on the angled side because I want to get that nice contour. And if you want an easy way to do contour, think of three or a three or a an E, whichever one is the which. So you normally would have a little bit of contour around the temple. And then you undercut, do fish face undercut your bone. That way you have some accentuation and it slenderizes. That's basically what contouring is all about, slenderizing. You can put a little contour on the side of the nose. You can put, so again, here, and then you bring it back down and you're putting it on the jaw because this is where we look slender, more slender, if we have a little bit of contour. So what I do is I take um, some color on there and I'll pat, 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 and then I'll come right down, okay? So it's okay, you just wanna make sure you're blending at the end, come right down, and then I can even come right back down here, okay? So it's almost like this backwards E, gotcha? Now, you gotta blend. So then you blend it out. The shadow is what we're after, okay? So people who walk around and they have this line, oh my God, that's so what, 2014? <laughs> but then you just go, downwards a little. You're just trying to keep it in this area, okay? Because it's creating a little shadow. You don't want to go all the way into this area. See, you can see a teeny bit of a shadow. Now, notice, I got some bones. I got the bones. I don't need to do this. I do it, I'm showing you, I do it because it is a nice way of bringing some attention, but I don't need to do much. So for those of you who are also like me, don't do it here. You can actually do it on top to, to bring, to lessen the boniness. Um, but this is fabulous if you have more of a fuller face and um, that would be your technique. Now you notice this on the top would be where of course your highlight. And Mary Kay has a couple highlights. We have beautiful, the honey. Um, oh, I don't have them pulled out. So you can put some highlight on top, highlight, okay? Highlight where, see the, the little bit of light that's shining? These are your highlight areas, okay? Right here, this is highlight. And then anything that's more of a shadow are your contour. And so um, cheek color is not contour. Contour is, again, the darker areas. And we've got a darker contour for darker skin. You can see this one right here is our cocoa. But for most ivory and beige, you want to use the latte. So then I have got strawberry cream. I'm going to turn my brush away from the angle. I'm going to turn it towards the, uh, well, that would be your angle. This is an angle too. That would be the point. And I'm going to turn it towards the angle. So I'm going to put a little bit of color. And again, cheek color needs to be almost like barely touching the skin. So. I'm going to start around the apple and then I'm going to just gently bring it back. Now, I always tell people, think of it like a banana or a C, okay? So you're just going to go almost right on top of that contour, but not all the way down. So I'm not going to bring it all the way down, but I'm going to put it on this, basically on the bone, but not on top of the bone. So on the bone. Okay, so never going to this close to the nose. I should be looking in my other mirror. So then I bring it back. Now, if you already have these huge, massive cheeks, you can actually put more contour to bring the attention here. And then on the cheek, it's just a soft dusting. Okay, just a soft dusting. But blending, I think is where most people don't do enough blending. That's all. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna finish up. I gotta go get a lip. What am I gonna do for my lips? I wanna finish up with the powder and of course the makeup spray. Let's talk just quickly about cleaning your brushes. Remember how I said cream has to be synthetic? That is why with our cream 
um, anything that's cream related. My buffer. I just put my buffer somewhere. The buffing brush that I used. All right, my buffing brush. I don't know where it went. So these are the ones you need to cream, um, cream brushes. You need to wash them at least every other day. Bacteria, I mean, now we're like germophobics, right? But we got to clean this. How do you do it? Hot water and just put some um, mild dish soap or some hand soap and then just in your hand. Um, sometimes I like to get inside there. Also, if you soak this with some oil, believe it or not, this is weird, like olive oil, the oils will um, grab hold of the brushes. And then with the soap, the soap grabs more of the oil and it will pull the concealer or the foundation out. So that's one trick for you. When it, there it is, I see it now, this brush. Okay, we wanna clean all of these because the cream touched it. But for all the other ones, you can sanitize with our brush cleaner. This is only $10, it's awesome. And this is one reason I believe we can make those san hand sanitizers because it has a sanitizing agent in it. Um, I'm sure there is some alcohol. You can squirt your brush and then um, just taking a paper towel, wipe it off. I still wash my brushes at least once a week, at least. So what do I do? I take pretty much all my brushes. I have multiple brushes. In fact, you guys, okay, I'll hold it up. See, all my brushes. Okay, so they're all Mary Kay from summer a long time ago. And then of course there's this, which I use um, also to carry all of it when I'm traveling, but most of them are in my little glass jar because I just have it on my counter in the bathroom. But I take all of these and I will put soap in my hand and then make sure that they're um, held down and I'll put it with soap and then I'll put it under hot water and then I will pat on the side of the sink and then I lay it just like this on the counter. I'll put a little cloth underneath so that it can absorb the moisture and I let it sit overnight. Um, by morning, it's normally dry. If you have to do a hair dryer, you can, but you need to clean your brushes and you need duplicate brushes because remember how I was taking um, this and I was blending, okay? Um, and I'll actually go back and put some more on now that I'm looking at myself. You might say, oh, this one now has too much dark. I need to get another one. And you wanna pull one out that's fresh that doesn't have any color to then blend. And that's sort of cool. Let me actually do that right now because I wanna add some more. I love the look of the, so notice I'm just tap and then just push the color just a little bit. Okay, so I'm not gonna go out like that because I have to blend it, but you can just push the color in. You can take this same brush, wipe off some of the excess on a cloth. I don't spray it because then it would be wet. And then I can go in and I can just teeny, weeny, 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 weeny little circles, very light. And I'm pushing the color sort of up and out, okay? And then I go back to the beginning. So that would be sort of like finishing up that look, okay? So I did the cheek, I gotta find a lip and then I'm half of my face done. Hold on one second, you guys, let me find something I can put on. Um, what do I have? What do I have? I only, I might only have a gloss handy. Can't show you my pajamas because I'm, I got my pajamas on underneath. Oh, I can do a lip. Okay, cool. Um, what kind of lip should I do? So I haven't done my powder yet and I'm going to do, I normally am a pink girl, but for um, those of you, oh, I tell you what I love. I know exactly which one I love. I'm going to do this one because um, if you have never tried a coral, coral and purple looks fabulous together. Oh, I haven't tried a tangerine. Tangerine pop. I don't know. Mm. Well, I guess if you're going to try something, you just might as well try it at the house, right? Okay. I do not have my applicator. Let me get an applicator. Hold on, you guys. Don't laugh at my pajamas. <laughs> There's my quad workout for the day. Okay, I'm gonna try this tangerine. That's the fun thing is um, if you've just sort of been in a rut, now's the time to try something fun. You can use next time, we can even do false eyelashes, try that out. But this is tangerine pop, okay? So I really love, um, oh, here's another technique. When you are doing, 
lips and you want it to, to look the best. Throughout the day, I keep one concealer in my um, cosmetic bag because this area, I just get darker as the day wears off. Okay, and I'll just pat this in. Okay, you really want a nude palette. So here we go. Tangerine pop. You guys, I've never done this like an orange. I'll let you decide. I like the creaminess of our true dimensions. It has mango butter. It sort of gives a little bit of a plump to the lip. We have mattes, which are great. And they last a good amount of time. But you gotta be careful with matte. Mattes can make you look older. Hey, this doesn't look that bad. Tangerine pop. Okay, you guys, I tried a new color. Now, I'm gonna let my hair down. And I'm gonna check out, I've, been not, I've not been paying attention to you and I do apologize because I've been trying to you know, work. I'm gonna finish up with our powder, okay? So our translucent powder is the bomb. Oh, I didn't even tell you. So remember how I did my eye primer? One little tip sometimes is um, I'll take some translucent powder and I'll just put it on first, just to really get a nice base, uh, 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 just a, a flat surface on top of that eye primer. Or if I didn't do an eye primer, I'll do this. That's really good. So then I've got my brush. I love, look at how yummy. This is the all over powder brush. I mean, it's only 16. You guys, these are like $50 when you're over at uh, Bobby Brown. Okay, so put it in. First of all, always close this. See if you can see it. Close that because if you don't, it'll fall out. And then you just want to pat. You'll notice it does get a little, you just pat a little off. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do baking today. You can also, you know, do it this way, but I want, hold on. I can't breathe. Notice how I'm just patting it in. And then I'm gonna finish there. Last but not least, we've got our makeup spray. Scandinavia, never finished that thought, forgive me. I have a little squirrel moments every once in a while. Scandinavia is a company out of Finland or somewhere in Scandinavia, but they only made makeup spray for Hollywood. And it was expensive and you can only buy it through them. And so, fix my hair here. So Mary Kay partnered with Scandinavia, and now they make their exact super, super expensive spray for us. And ours is 18. So it is a fabulous purchase. And the way you would do it at the very end, you want to hold it 18 inches away. And you're going to do one squirt as, I, you're going to do four squirts. You're going to do an X, so one, one, and then a T, three, Four. So one, two, three, four. Hold your breath. So ta-da. Okay. What do you think? Naked? I sort of like this. So I'm gonna go to the Facebook because I can't see anything right now. And I'm hoping that maybe somebody else is still there. Michelle, if you're still there, hello. Are you still there? Oh, I have two comments. Let's see who else is here. Um, oh, Joe, Joe is on. Okay, so I love, love, love you guys. Here is my special that um, I just wanted to tell you, um, if you are wanting to check it out, you can, of course, see what I did today and um, comment, oh, I'll have to, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to put it below. And if you like what you saw, then these are some of the specials. And what I said was you get a free brush set, $55 brush set when you get the ultimate color set, which is $198. And that includes, da, 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 you'll have to look at it, the foundation, the primer, the concealer, one concealer, um, 
the ultimate mascara or you can substitute you guys if you're like oh i don't want the i want the corrector not the concealer no problem we can make substitutions eye primer eyeliner eyebrow a lipstick translucent powder and then a mini compact fill which is three eye colors and a cheek excuse me we can substitute if you're like i already have a foundation fine the price of this we could go shopping and find something different so you can customize but it would be 198 is this and you would get a free brush set so over here is a little bit smaller you don't have um the brows you don't have the um concealer you don't have the primer for the eyes and you don't have uh, what else what else what else you don't have um the brow yeah so, and you don't have the powder that's right so this one's a little less and this one you can get half off the brush set because the brushes are of course key and then there's some other specials down below that i will post below but i'm glad you woke up and waked up and made up and i think i'm ready for another cup of coffee okay i love you guys hope you quarantine well and um and i'm really excited i'm excited for you to be one of my virtual party hostesses as i start this whole thing out we had so much fun the other day and why not get free mary kay and get your girlfriends together and have a little cocktail and let's have a mary kay virtual party okay so talk to you soon don't forget the first five hostesses get to have their color 101 for only 50. <laughs>